Hey guys, welcome back. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you might be scratching your heads at this moment thinking, what, you're doing a Logic Pro X video? I know, usually I'm working inside of some other programs. You can see my other videos to see what I mean by that or messing around with some knobs or things like that. But I started with Logic and I still kind of use Logic to this day. And not too long ago, Apple announced an update to Logic, Logic 10.3. And they included in this some really nice updates, of which lots of other YouTubers have covered what that means. But one thing has kind of gone uncovered, and it's the one thing that really caught my attention and kind of got me wondering, what do they mean by that? So in that line is, if you look at the release notes, MIDI plugins can be used to creatively control plugin parameters. So just looking at that and searching all over the internet, like, what does that mean? And how can I use MIDI plugins to creatively control parameters of plugins? Uh, so I'm here to answer that question. So what they mean by that is that you can take MIDI effects, and if you are not familiar with MIDI effects, by all means, search YouTube high and low and find out what this means because they're really fun to mess around with inside of Logic. But what it means is specifically two of these MIDI effects the modifier and the modulator can be used to manipulate or take control over plugins inside of Logic. So for example, I could use the modulator, which gives me two or one LFO and one envelope that I can usually just use as MIDI data so I can pass it along as my mod wheel parameters or some other controller data which will cause the synthesizer that follows in my signal flow to respond to that. But what both of these allow me to do is everywhere you see this little two parameter or two box, this means where am I sending this MIDI effect to? So for the LFO portion of it, if I want to take this and use this as an LFO to modulate one of my plugin parameters, all I have to do is first get the plugin out that I want to modulate. In this case, I'm going to use Plugin Alliances MAG4 EQ or EQ4, which is one of my favorite little EQ plugins. And I'm going to use this LFO to modulate the high shelving knob of this EQ. So I'm going to go to the 2 section, and rather than setting it to be a MIDI CC value, up at the top here we have this new option of Learn Plugin Parameter. So once I click on that, now it's in Learn Mode. If I go over and wiggle this knob for a second and then release it, now you'll see that knob, I'm no longer wiggling it with my mouse, that knob is now moving at the rate specified by this LFO, or this MIDI effect plugin. So now I could adjust this, I could say let's bring down the output level so that it's just moving a small portion and bring up the offset a little bit so I can kind of wiggle it around center there. Now when I play some notes, I've now got that plug-in moving. So to get this type of thing happening before I would have had to use automations and drawn out all these automations over many 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 measures just to get that parameter go up and down and now I can just use the modifier. So I could also use the envelope portion of this which is triggered every time I start a new note and I could do the same thing learn plugin parameter and map that out to whatever plugin parameter I want to. Or I could also use the modifier. So if I look at the modifier the modifier allows me to take any input MIDI event so like velocity or note number or mod wheel or pitch bend and reassign that to anything else. So for example you might use this if you had a keyboard that had some broken modulation wheel on it and you wanted to use the pitch bend wheel as the modulation wheel and you didn't want to mess around with scripting or anything like that you could just go in here and say great take the pitch bend wheel and reassign that to the mod wheel and now your pitch bend wheel is a mod wheel. But we could also do the same thing where I could say take my mod wheel and just easily assign this to any parameter of my plugin by going into Learn Parameter, wiggling the plugin's parameter that you want to modulate with your mod wheel, and now your mod wheel has control over that parameter. So this new feature of being able to creatively modify any plugin parameter through either the modifier or I'll get it pulled up here, the modulator brings some really interesting potential to the world of logic. So when you're looking at the what's new in Logic Pro 10.3 and you see that MIDI plugins can be used to creatively control plugin parameters, now you know what that means. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Love to see what you guys end up doing with this new knowledge. So don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and leave your comments or questions below. All right, bye.